Hello everyone. In this video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to change the color of your rims in Photoshop. Uh, now this particular version here, I'm using a CS5 on a Mac operating system. Uh, this also does apply to the Windows version of Photoshop as well as previous versions to CS5. First, what we want to start by doing is making a copy of your rims here. So, making sure you have the background layer selected here. Going up to your marquee tool. I'm going to simply click on the image here. Just making sure you have the rims selected in the box itself. Like so. I'll go up to edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. And this will automatically make a new layer. So we'll just rename this layer as rims. So when I turn the background layer off, I'll be left with something that looks like this. So now what we want to start by doing is actually deleting the area around your rims itself here, such as the tires, any of the body of the vehicle, the background, and within the uh, inside of the rims here, such as the rotors or calipers. So going over to our side toolbar again, we'll select our lasso polygonal tool, and we'll just go around and just start selecting parts of the image that we don't want, and then we'll delete it at the end. Once you've already selected, just hit delete. You should be left with something that looks like this. Now, once you've done the deleting here, I just uh, skipped ahead here, so I'll just turn this off. And you should be left with something that looks like this. So once you turn your background layer back on, it'll be just overlaid on top. So now what you want to do here, you can do this uh, two ways. You want to go into the options for the rim layer here. You can do this by double clicking on the layer itself, or you can do this by uh, right clicking and then going to blending options which will bring up the layer style uh, options menu and you want to go down to color overlay making sure you have the box selected here and then say for these rims here we'll go to a yellow color so let's look at the bar here make sure it's in the corner now you can play with the opacity itself here you can see it doesn't really look that realistic now if you go to a real light color now this does depend on the shade you are going to um, of uh, what the opacity uh, you'll have to play around with and as well as the blend mode. So for the blend mode here I'll be using is multiply. Let me just darken this up a little bit here so I go to 45% opacity and I should be left with something else like this. Just click OK, zoom out and it should look like something like this. Now if you want to go to another color say uh, for instance white Double click on the layers again, bring up the option menu, go back to color overlay, now we'll go back to white. Now this is an example of where you would use a different style of um, blend mode. So you can see opacity is 100% but it doesn't really do much to the rims itself. So what we'll do is we'll go to uh, soft light and you can see it changes the rims over to white, like so. So it is something you will have to play around with with your uh, the overlay on here. Uh, so when you go to color overlay, you will have to play with the blend modes a little and the opacity, depending on what color you want of your rims. Uh, it depends on the effect it'll give also. Uh, so just something uh, just to keep in mind, if you're not quite happy with uh, the color in one blend mode or with the opacity, you can go to another blend mode and it'll give it a different effect uh, and possibly a more realistic look. So after you're satisfied with the image, you can save your image and you're done. So thank you for watching my tutorial video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and rate this video. Thank you.